problem number 9 a coil of 12 ohms resistance is in parallel with 20 ohm resistance this combination is connected in series with the third coil of 8 ohms resistance the whole circuit is connected across a battery having an emf of 30 volts and an internal resistance of 2 ohms calculate the terminal voltage of the battery and the power in the 12 ohm coil so this is the circuit where 12 ohm and 20 ohm resistance are in parallel which this combination are in series with the 8 ohm so this 2 ohm is the internal resistance of the battery with the supply voltage of 30 volts so this is current i first we need to find the terminal voltage terminal voltage is nothing but the supply voltage minus the voltage drop of the internal resistance so to find the voltage drop across this resistance we need to have the value of i to find the i first we need to calculate the equivalent resistance of all this all the four resistance that is 12 ohm 20 20 ohm and 8 ohm and 2 ohm so as this both are in parallel first we need to find the equivalent resistance between the point a and point b so the resistance of the parallel combination between a and b is rab so we know the formula so uh, 1 by rab is equal to 1 by 12 that is the ohm of first resistance the resistance value of the first resistor the resistance value of second resistor is 20 therefore plus 1 by 20 which is equal to 8 by 60 therefore the resistance between rab is 7.5 ohms so then all the remaining resistors are in series so we can add 8 and 2 with 7.5 so by adding 7.5 8 and 2 we'll get the equivalent resistance that is 7.5 ohms so the total now we can calculate the current so we know the current voltage and resistance uh, relation that is i is equal to v by rt that is equivalent resistance so we know the supply voltage is 30 and the equivalent resistance is 17.5 so therefore the uh, supply current or the circuit current is 1.714 amps so using this we can find the internal voltage of the battery so we know the supply voltage uh, the we know the internal resistance is 2 ohm therefore multiplying it into the circuit current we get the internal voltage drop so subtracting this from the supply voltage we get 26.572 volts so then the second point that is the power in the 12 ohm coil so this is the 12 ohm coil so we need to find the power that is power is nothing uh, but v into i so power formula can be written as v into i or power can be written as i square r or power formula can be written as v square divided by r so these are the three formulas so this is the easiest one as we know the current and we can find the voltage across uh, the 12 ohm resistance so first we will find the voltage across ab the, uh, that will be i into ra uh, that is nothing but uh, 12.855 volts so using this and uh, using this formula that is p is equal to v square by r we can find out the power across 12 ohm resistance that is 12.8855 square divided by 12 that is 12 ohm coil therefore the power will be 13.77 watts